The Indian Navy had leased the Chakra 2 nuclear submarine in 2011, in order to prepare the Indian submarine crew for the indigenous Eri Hunt class submarine in 2016, as well as check the Chinese expansion in the Indian Ocean. Experts have said that India was more interested in renting a submarine from Russia's new Yasin class submarine, but they were not available at that time, as all the new Yasin submarines were in various stages of testing and construction. While the Chakra 2 lease agreement is set to expire in 2022, India has already signed the $3 billion lease agreement for the Chakra 3 submarine, that will be transferred to the Indian Navy by 2025. Officials have said that the contract includes the refurbishment of the nuclear submarine with Indian sensors and communication components, and the latest contract imposes fewer restrictions on the Indian Navy, as compared to the Chakra 2 agreement. The deputy chief of Russian mission Roman Babushkin has said that India and Russia are planning to export the BrahMos system to Philippines and several other countries in the Gulf region, and the deal with Philippines will be signed for two batteries of truck-based BrahMos system in early 2021. He also said that Russia is working very hard for an early delivery of S-400 air defense systems to India, while both sides are working to finalize the mutual logistics support agreement, and the deal for local production of 200 CAMF helicopters and 7.5 lakh AK-203 rifles are in final stage of conclusion. The Indian Army and the Air Force are satisfied with trial performances of the indigenous light utility helicopter, and now the Defence Ministry is processing the first order for 12 light utility helicopters, which will be followed by 187 helicopters. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that once the order is placed, HAL will deliver the 12 contracted helicopters within 28 months, as the production facilities are already in place. Cochin Shipyard Limited has launched three floating border outpost vessels, and these 46-meter-long vessels are part of a series of nine vessels being built for the water wing of the Border Security Force. These vessels are designed and built by Cochin Shipyard, which can carry four fast patrol boats, and they can be launched using its own Davit system. The Chinese army has agreed to pull back its troops to Finger 8 area, and under the three-step disengagement plan agreed by both sides, involves retracting artillery systems tanks and armored personnel carriers from their current deployment, to the regions farther from the line of actual control in a non-combat position, and the entire disengagement process is expected to be completed by May 2021. India and China will also dismantle the new structures that have been constructed during the ongoing standoff, and no patrolling will take place along Finger 4 and Finger 8 area temporarily.